Hello Pisces, welcome to your impromptu reading for the next seven days. Okay, these are some, these are, uh, I said these are going to be quick, but some of them are like 30 minutes long. So the, this might be quick, it might not be, but um, it's intended to be a quick reading, a filler for you guys until, you know, I get out some other readings for you. Um, in this reading, we're going to cover what you need to know for the next seven days, what you need to be aware of. Uh, we're going to do a money message for you, like money spread, and then we're going to pull, we're going to finalize the reading with an oracle card, okay? Um, I do have an intuitive message for you, uh, Pisces. I feel like there's there's a martyr like um, in your energy or a martyr around you, like someone that's that's trying to play the victim, that's just doing something for attention. Woe is me. Everyone's against me, blah, blah, blah. Um, feels like somebody in your energy or someone around you wants a pity party. Okay, I'm kind of getting that. Um, what does Pisces need to know next seven days? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. Some of you guys are going to interview for a position, and I feel like you're going to land the position. I see you being, like, stuck in the position. Not stuck, but as in, like, you have stability. Like, this is your structure. This is, like, you're not, you, you know, you and this are good. So I see you interviewing, and you're getting the position. Eight of Pentacles can represent being gainfully em employed, okay? So I see that that's positive for you. I, f I feel like there's a new journey that you're entering into in the next seven days, and you're going to be using your intuition a lot. Okay, you're going to be listening to your internal guidance. Okay, the intuitive nudges, the intuitive hits, the signs that you get. Um, your intuition, your inner world is going to be, your higher self is going to be very important to you during this path, next seven days. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. I see that something that you're working on is going to be successful. I see some of you guys could be closely working together with a Capricorn. Um, if you're working on a project with somebody, it's going to be successful. You guys are going to have a lot of new ideas, okay? A lot of new ideas. I was going to say, I feel the energy of you guys mixing things together, like alchemizing, harmonizing things, like two extremes, two very different things. You're bringing it together to form one whole, one har one harmonious whole. Some of you guys may have Sag in your chart. What's this Eight of Swords for Pisces? What do they need to know next seven days? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Two of Swords. That's the 10 together or the six. I see you reaching some success. Like uh, this is this could be something that you blocked yourself off from or something that you just don't see, but you're going to be reaching success. Like you're going to be getting whatever outcome you're, you're hoping to achieve. You're going to be getting that. I'm also getting with this energy uh, out with the old, in with the new. So you could be ending something with somebody as well. Um, this could be like an ending, a change in direction a transformation of something, but I see that there's an ending and I feel like you're being very direct with some kind of ending. Like the way that you speak to someone, there's no room for mis for mi there's no room for error. There's no room for misinterpretation. Okay. You're being very overt and very direct. Sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> I was like, oh. hopefully nobody saw that. Um, sorry. Um, what is this that Pisces is ending next seven days for what do they need to know next seven days? The seven of cups. You're severing ties with somebody. I don't know if this is a job, a company or what, but I feel like you're going to walk out. This is like, literally, I literally see you walking out the door. Like you're about to walk out on somebody. If somebody's talking to you, you're about to walk out on that conversation. Like, ah, I don't want to hear that. You're about to walk out. You're done. You're cutting this out. 10 of swords, the two of swords, the seven of cups. Cause I feel like something here is toxic. It's not in your best interest you know, something does not have your best interest in mind, or if this is a person, they don't have your best interest in mind. So I see that you're walking out on this. What's the tower? What does Pisces need to know next seven days? What's the tower? The tower, six of pentacles. Um, you're getting results. This is like the, uh, like I said, your hard work is paying off. This is like the fruits of your labor. Okay. You're getting results. It's like you getting money, you getting patronage. And I also feel like you're getting new ideas. If you work for a company or if you, if you have clientele, I feel like your clients are giving you new ideas. Um, if you work for a company, uh, you're getting paid more, you're getting paid well, and, um, they're giving you new ideas as well. This feels like an abundance of new ideas, a new lease on life. I feel like you're going to be feeling very comfortable in the ensuing days. Okay. If this is like a, if this is like, um, it doesn't have to be a new job, but this could be like adding new life to something old. Okay. Reinvigorating something, speaking new life into it, speaking something into an exist into existence, you know, making something dead, bringing it back to the, bringing it back from the dead. Okay. This is like making something alive once again. 
Um, what is a what? Tell me more. What does Pisces need to know? Next seven days. Sorry. What does Pisces need to know? Next seven days. Six of Wands. If you guys are trying to be in the spotlight, I feel like you're going to get a lot of attention. You're going to get a lot of views. Okay. Uh, if you guys are trying to build a social media platform or presence, um, you're going to get attention. Like this is like recognition, success. This could be fame or clout, but um, you're going to get a lot of attention coming your way and a lot of success. What's the Six of Wands? What does Pisces need to know? Six of Wands, the King of Cups. Someone's going to come towards you. It could be with like an emotional offer. This could be a Cancer Pisces, a Cancer, another Pisces, or a Scorpio. What is this for Pisces? Six of Wands. Do I need to know? Next seven days. Six of Wands. Damn. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Some of you guys, I feel like you're winning. Um, I want to say you're winning an argument or you're going to be winning a disagreement or a dispute. So if there's been like an open case, you know, or if you've been just arguing with somebody about something, I see that you're the victor. Like you're the winning, you got the winning chip or whatever. You got the, you, you got the winning closing argument. Like you're the winner in some kind of argument, some kind of competition. Um, you may be taking someone's place. This could be a promotion as well, but you're the winner. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you've argued your case very well. If this is a court case, you've literally won. Um, I don't know. This could be a settlement. But if the, I feel like you've argued your case well. You've, you've, you've uh, clearly, efficiently, concisely um, expressed your points, you know, your, your stance on the matter. And um, you took initiative. Okay. So I feel like you're winning. This feels like by default, but I also feel like, you know, you deserve this win, whatever this is. Something took bravery. Something took courage. Something took guts. And um, I don't know, you got the winning piece, okay? You got the winning uh, piece. What else does Pisces need to know next seven days? Spirit, I'm getting something about schools could be closing down. I don't know. I don't know if your your son or your child's school or something like that. A school is like school is closed for like the next seven, not for the next seven days, in the next seven days, maybe something about a school or something shutting down. Um, what does Pisces need to know next seven days? The sun. This is wow. If you guys want some fame, this is this is fame for me as a reader. This is fame, ultimate success. This is like windfall. So if you're trying to get some recognition, you know, put yourself out there. I don't know if you're gonna get fame in the next seven days, but like you'll you'll be on the path to some recognition. If you're trying to get yourself out there, start that channel or start that social media, start that business. There's like attention coming to you. What's this sun? The sun. You're gonna be feeling very creative. Okay, some of you guys may be feeling very artistic. You guys may want to draw, create some art, okay? The sun is Leo energy as well. You guys could have that in your chart. I'm getting an energy of you wanting to add diversity to your art or you wanting to add diversity to a project. Like if it's only been one culture, one religion, one race, one sexuality, one gender, like you're wanting to add something else to the mix. And I feel like that would actually be helpful. That would actually be helpful. Like, I feel like um, you're wanting to make something all inclusive. So I want to say go for that if that's what you want to do. Like, um, you know, for everybody, you know, I feel like that that would be positive. Um, is there anything else? Give me another small message for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know next seven days? The Knight of Cups. Just Knight of Cups. What does Pisces need to know next seven days? Knight of Cups, Two of Wands. Um, I feel, I'm getting a selfish energy. Like you're dealing with someone that's very selfish. This person, I feel like I've said this to you before. Someone here could be selfish and they have a shellfish allergy. I don't know. But um, some of you guys may need to do an allergy test, see what you're allergic to. Um, not to scare you, but I don't know. I was getting that message. Um, but some of you guys, I feel like you're dealing with someone that's uh, kind of selfish. This, this person could be a selfish lover. The two of wands is a deacon of Aries. So this could be an Aries. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but I feel like this is more so talking about their energy, the selfishness. Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, Judgment. This person's very judgy as well, very judgmental. Three of Swords. You're dealing with a very selfish person. And you know what's worse is that they're very forward too, so I don't know, you may like that. 
uh, very proactive energy, that initiative energy. They have everything you want, but they're just very selfish. This person, I want to say they're selfish in bed as well. Um, who is this for Pisces next seven days? Who is this? I'm getting Aries, but who is this? They don't like to share with you. Um, Six of Swords. This could be an Aquarius. The Moon. I want this. This definitely could be an Aquarius because I'm hearing they would like to remain mysterious and they don't want to share something with you, like some kind of information. Someone's being stingy with information or like their help. I feel like. And you know what? I was getting that for Aquarius that they wanted to be more anonymous or more mysterious. So this could definitely be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Um, you guys may be a cusper. Um, let's move on to what do you need to be aware of? What does Pisces need to be aware of next seven days? Someone has anger issues. What does Pisces need to be aware of next seven days? Oh, it's all reversed. My whole deck is reversed. Should I take it? Ace of Cups reversed. I'll, I'll take it. Ace of Cups, what does Pisces need to be aware of next seven days? Ace of Cups. Uh, someone's going to challenge you, Pisces. Someone's going to challenge you to like a... <laughs> it sounds kind of silly, but it feels like someone's going to challenge you to like a duel. Like I challenge you, blah, blah, blah. It feels like you're dealing with someone that challenges your ideas, like devil, devil's advocate. You know, they everything you say, they kind of negate it or they kind of oppose it or, or they um, they present another challenge, like they present another opinion. So everything that you say, someone uh, has a rebuttal for it, okay? So I, I see you um, maybe like not getting along with somebody. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like they're playing fair. I don't feel like they're playing nice. It seems like the energy that they're giving is not reciprocated. It's not reciprocal, okay? Everything that you say, they have a equal and opposite uh, answer or equal and opposite reaction. Um, who is this for Pisces, this Knight of Swords? Who is this? The Hermit. This could be a Virgo. Could be, um, I'm hearing a Libra. This could be a Gemini as well. I feel like this person is always in a hurry. They're always rushing. I feel like you and someone are going to have a disagreement about something. And it's about like their speed or their hastiness. Like they're going too fast. I feel like you're trying to teach someone something. You're trying to help them. Try and tell them to slow down. And this person will not listen to you. Okay. The Knight of Swords, you can't really tell this person to slow down. They kind of got to learn on their own by going too fast and getting into an issue, you know, an accident or a problem, you know, encountering something or, or this person kind of has to learn their lesson. They're not going to stop on their own. Uh, okay. Or they're not going to stop on their own and they're not going to stop if someone tells them to. This person's rushing, going a mile a minute. There's no brakes on this bitch. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I feel like, you know, you, you, you're trying, you try it. Oh, well, this person is not going to listen to you whoever this is, they're stubborn or they're just, they're just ambitious. They got their own direction. They're not trying to slow down. Um, what, tell me more. What does Pisces need to be aware of? What else does Pisces need to be aware of next seven days? Two of cups. Someone's an artist. Um, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that if someone's a known artist, you may interview somebody, some of you guys, if you're a boss, you may be interviewing someone for a position or you just may be asking someone some questions. Yeah. This could be an interview with the justice, two of cups. What's the two of cups? What does Pisces need to be aware of? Two of cups. Yeah. A contract. This could be a contract, signing something, interviewing, getting to know somebody. What is this? What does Pisces need to be aware of? seven days what does Pisces needs to be aware of two of cups ace of swords five of pentacles seven of pentacles um I'm getting the same energy that I got for Sag okay so some of you guys could be dealing with a Sag or have that in your chart someone's going to make it very obvious how they feel about you um this person is not going to hide their emotions at all okay um I don't know if this is a work thing, like a coworker, they like to gawk at you or stare at you, look at you a lot or what. Someone here has got the hots for you. But um, in the ensuing days, someone's going to make it very obvious how they feel about you. Okay, they're going to be acting a certain way towards you. They're going to be handling you, treating you a certain way. Okay, this person could be nervous to come up to you. Um, yeah, someone's going to make something very obvious, their emotions. Feels like you're both kind of nervous. 
I do feel like this person could have options because we have the five of pentacles and the seven. That's the two of pentacles. That could be an energy of like juggling. So this person could be the juggler, okay, having options, but they're going to make it obvious how they feel about you. And how is it that this person feels about Pisces? How is this that this person feels? Ace of Pentacles. They feel comfortable around you. I feel like they want you. Who is it? This person thinks that you're cute. This could be a Taurus. They're attracted to you. Someone's attracted to you at your work, at your job, whatever you do for money. And someone is sexually, someone's attracted to you physically and they're sexually attracted to you as well. So they have feelings for you. They're going to come towards you. Yep. What is that? Taurus. Yeah. Wait. They have feelings for you, okay? Someone's confessing how they feel. <laughs> okay. What else does Pisces need to be aware of next seven days? The Empress. Someone's into you for real. Like, they're into you, into you. I'm getting something about someone likes to dress in drag. So I don't know if... um. If you're meeting someone that is a uh, transgender or a drag queen, or you're going to a drag show or something like that, but I'm getting someone may like to dress in drag, drag outfits, drag makeup, all that. It's the Empress, Pisces. What do they need to be aware of next seven days? The Empress. Empress, Ace of Wands. Ooh, this is very attractive energy. Just needs to be aware of Empress, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords. Someone's gonna come towards you with a lot of new ideas. Okay, I feel like somebody wants to speak to you. Somebody wants to be in communication with you, like further or deeper. Like I feel like somebody wants to get to know the real you, or somebody. Somebody's very interested in you. Like you got somebody's attention, Pisces. Okay, so somebody's um somebody's injured. Somebody's interested. They're invested. They want to know more about you. They want to have conversation. They want to talk. This could be a cerebral com uh, a cerebral connection. Like you guys could connect. Um, mentally, it's a very like mentally, very mentally stimulating conversations with this person. Okay. Um, but I see somebody wants to connect with you in a deeper way. So, um, I don't know. They're very attracted to you. Uh, it's up to you if you want to give them a chance. That's, I've tried to pull two different messages and I got that. I don't know if you have options or if this is the same person. Okay. They're a big flirt, big flirt. Some of y'all I'm hearing, this could be a Gemini as well. This person's very nosy. I feel like what they will try to do is dig up dirt on you. Like, they'll try to figure you out before you tell them anything. So this person's very nosy. They're not patient. They want to know before you tell anything so that they can see if you're lying or not. Or so that they could gauge you. This person's very impatient. Um, can I get some money messages for Pisces next seven days? Money messages for Pisces. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. I forgot who I got this pair for. It was like two other signs. What is this for Pisces? Their money. The money moves that you're making, Pisces, the next seven days are is like, it's making you more smart in terms of money. So like, what is that called? Um, a catch-22, but like the opposite of a catch-22. Like, a catch-22 is like, you can't do this thing until you do that thing, but you can't do that thing until you do this thing. That's a catch-22. This feels like the opposite, Pisces. Like, um, you're doing something financially to help you with something, and then in turn, that thing is helping you fight. So it feels like a good catch-22. Like, um, whatever, the, whatever, is, whatever, it is, 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 whatever it is that you're doing is making you smarter so that you can invest more, and then the cycle continues back and forth. So you're, you're creating a cycle of, like, wealth where you're always going to be getting paid because you're always going to be learning more and then you're going to be able to put more away. Like, um, it seems like you're creating a positive flow of abundance for you financially because we do have the six, the seven, that's the ace of pentacles. If you subtract those two, you're creating some good money flow. What's the six of pentacles for Pisces? Their money in seven days, six of pentacles. Oh, wow. You're getting what you want in terms of, um, in terms of finances, you're going to be very successful and you're going to be very proud. You're going to be feeling prideful. Okay. You're getting what you want. Um, there could definitely be a, a promotion for you, or I don't know if you're relocating for a job, maybe something's paying you more because the Knight of swords is, uh, no matter what it represents a change. So this could be like, you're moving up. 
you're moving up the ladder, you know, uh, you're making a new career commitment. I don't know if you're leaving a job or just moving up within a company, going somewhere else, relocating, but you know, there's good news for you regarding your career and some money. Okay. I feel like you're making some money moves. You're going to make people proud. And I feel like I see you feeling very prideful, like for the position that you're in double sixes. This could be a, this could be a, um, a gift from the universe for you, Pisces. I see a nice new beginning for you in your work. So if you want, if you're wanting to, if if you're wanting to go for a promotion, this is positive for it. Like I see, like I see it can happen for you. Um, I feel like you're creating your own wealth. You're creating your own abundance. Like you're bringing opportunities towards you. What's the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces and their money? Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Yeah, there's good news for you. You guys could be relocating for work, deciding that something is better, a better opportunity. There may be a change in your wind, a change in your plans. But I see a new financial opportunity for you, for sure. You may have options. You may be struggling with feeling like you don't deserve something. Some of you guys, you may be in anticipation of your goals, like waiting for something to come to you. But um, I want to say you deserve it, and it is coming. Ugh, your ships are coming. I was going to say the three of wands. Your ships are coming. Um, can I get another money message for Pisces next seven days? The high priestess. I feel like you're going to be more reclusive, more of a recluse and a hermit. Um, you know, more, more like a out of sight, out of, you know, out of the public, even though the six of wands is literally like public. Um, I also feel like you're going to be going exclusive with something. So if you've been part-time, you're going to be full-time, you know, fully dedicated to something. Okay. Some of you guys could be taking some time out to learn. What's the high priestess for Pisces, their money? High priestess. Ooh, seven of swords. Okay. Be mindful of Use your intuition regarding your money. If something seems like a bad deal, if it seems like a scam, you know, if it doesn't seem completely, you know, in your best interest, then, you know, take that into account and don't take the move. Don't make the move. Um, I want to say keep your money matters private as well. Don't talk to people about stuff because, you know, rumors could circulate. Whatever, whatever you're going through with money, be, be quiet. Like, be quiet about it. Keep it private. Be observant and use your intuition. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was getting Hermit, Recluse, High Priestess, Seven of Swords. What is it for Pisces? Their money. Seven days. High Priestess, Seven of Swords. You're going to be getting results. If you, if, if you started something new, you guys are going to be getting results. This is like the fruits of your labor, uh, the fruits of your labor, like your hard work, your efforts are going to be paying off with the seven of, uh, seven of pentacles. There's an energy of feeling like you don't deserve it though. Be mindful getting stuck in that mentality. Um, what's the seven of swords for Pisces? Their money. Seven of swords, four of wands. Someone may come towards you with some kind of offer. I don't want to say have suspicion, but if it feels off, pay attention to the red flags. Like if something doesn't seem completely honest, um, pay attention to the red flags. I also see some of you guys paying something off like fully. You could be, you could pay, you could be paying it off in increments, but I see you uh, bringing the balance of something down with the seven of swords because you're creating a plan. Be mindful not to be super spend heavy. There may be like a better deal waiting in the mix, you know, uh, in the, in whatever, in the, yeah, in the mix. High Priestess, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. You're going to have some kind of victory in your money. Yeah. You're going to have some kind of success or victory or big win. There's a victory coming. And I see you, I see you creating a strategy or creating a game plan regarding your money and you're sticking to it. There's some kind of victory and success for you next seven days. So you have something to look forward to financially, Pisces. Okay. Sun is map success. We have the sun twice. Massive success. Okay. So this is this is good regarding money. Good, good for good for money matters. Okay. And things are being illuminated to you as well. Can I get an Oracle card for Pisces next seven days? Oracle card for Pisces next seven days. Okay, we have success. Oh my God. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo 
and we have love, you're going to be feeling very abundant. I'm getting if you're if you're entering a new job, a new opportunity, they're going to be able to match your pay, your salary requirements, your payment goals, all that. Let me um, I'll make this your thumbnail. Can you even see that? Okay, success. What did I say? Success. And I feel like it's because you're going to be courageous, Pisces. Satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment are at hand. That's all your energy, the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. This could be a wish fulfillment. Um, success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace this success, for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of life. Celebrate it all and breathe it all in, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts, and make deals. Good fortune will ensue. Okay, massive success, beyond y'all. Okay, but that's what I got for you, Pisces, okay? Um, that has been your reading, beautiful reading. Oh my God, this is probably, you know what? I'm not gonna say it's the best one. It's the best one in terms of like success, okay? But it's a great reading, okay? That's what I got for you, Pisces. That has been your reading. I hope this helps you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it does, I really do hope this resonates. It's beautiful. We have confirmation after confirmation. Um, if it resonates, I hope it provides you with some clarity in the ensuing days. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, Pisces.